everybody, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, my darlings. How are you doing? Today's daily tarot reading, we're going to be getting into this video, starting with the collective, if the cards want to uh, act proper, darling. All right. We're going to be getting into a collective uh, tarot message, that whatever message the collective needs to hear at this time. And then afterwards, darling, we're going to get into all 12 zodiac signs. All right. So be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, because we're going to be covering all the zodiac signs, darling. All right. Uh, and then, yeah, let's just jump right into this tarot video. Let's see what's going on for the collective here. All right, star energy. This is pretty powerful stuff here. The collective is on the path towards uh, dreams being fulfilled here. All right, and that's really important, I feel like, to know because I feel like there's so much negative energy going on right now, right? It's almost as if it's become habit where it's like you feel bad for even looking forward to doing anything because it's like you think about the past couple years, two or three years, and it's like the sense of guilt or it's just like we're just so used to things not working out things just looking pretty grim here and so the collective message is really coming in strong in the sense of letting you know that wishes are still going to be getting granted darling all right healing is going to be taking place that's why you see that with the star energy it's that aquarian energy but it you'll see these cups and it's usually associated with those that water that emotion darling right uh so it's like the sense of healing being able to heal and be able to bring closer to the uh it's the sense for you guys you'll start noticing as well if you open up to the star energy that your desires are going to start feeling more and more real instead of uh how i would i how do i want to say this darling instead of treating like your dreams or just whatever it is that you want to do or accomplish as a thing of being like oh well i would love to do this but i can't do this unfortunately because of you know what right or you know there's always like a reasoning behind it here but start treating it as reality you know start asking yourself the question being like you know what? why am i not taking action on it there's always going to be something going on in the world some type of pandemic darling some type of you know the world is never going to calm down and i think that's what we have all really learned here is that the world's just never going to calm down and so we have to you know our life still has to continue going on right so we're gonna just like put that right on top of there darling and we're gonna get into some wood i suppose if i can speak darling all right the cards are just so excited to get out for this collective message today we're gonna be doing three cards here i'm gonna be using the necronomicon tarot deck if those are, for those that are curious and yes i always read inverted but y'all don't need to see the cards upside down to know understand that something's inverted or not you just need to hear the message all right <laughs> so you guys have the fool the knave of swords with the nine of pentacles coming in here all right this is literally because this is clarifying darling all right it's clarifying your star over here this is a straight up message of where now is the time now is the time to no longer just be about sitting and watching other people live your dream or taking action towards whatever it is that they want to create here right especially during the day of the internet and like how algorithms are darling like we are always constantly consuming other people living out their dreams accomplishments and all that and it's always this sense of where i feel like you're asking yourself like oh i wish or sayings like i wish that could be me well, it can be you, darling, all right? The Nine of Pentacles here. This is a card of successful self-employment, all right? Being able to be independent. I think he still has some lotion here, Patrick. <laughs> My apologies, y'all. I got some lotion there. But um, this is the sense of uh, being able to support yourself, not having to rely on anybody else. Just true independence through your own creation, right? So for many of you guys, you're having this desire, this craving to... Um, to really be on your own here it's like the sense of like you don't want to rely on anybody else right that's like your desire here i feel like i'm talking to a collective where it's just like all of you all want to just have like a farm out in the middle of nowhere so you can just be around you and just some animals and your loved ones that's who i feel like i'm talking to and it can be reality for you darling all right so that star energy what spirit is really trying to say for the collective right now is just like stop falling into the trap right now of just the negative news all right again like there's always been bad stuff that's been happening in the world but we only just now 
more fully aware about it because of the internet and we're constantly sharing everything which is fabulous right but i feel as if people are starting to be a little bit more cynical about life because of just how much negative news that we're consuming lately but it's just like darling like really this stuff has always been happening <laughs> you know <laughs> we're just now you know it's just now impacting some people but like you know like for you know just you know let's just get real right now darling i don't usually talk about like light world events and stuff like that but like let's just be real like uh minorities darling women as, as well especially darling like we all have always felt <laughs> like especially if for those that are in the u.s like societies like you know like shafting us darling like it didn't it took us how long for women to be able to vote okay like it's not really a surprise it's upsetting but it's not a surprise right and so that's what spirits wanting to really say here is just like yeah, bad stuff's happening, darling. That doesn't mean that you had to put your dreams on hold, all right? You have the full energy and knave of swords here. Speaking your truth more, all right? I feel like that's something that's really needed for you guys here. Whether that's speaking your truth to somebody, all right? Speaking your truth to somebody because you feel like you can't live your most authentic self without speaking about something, all right? But for others of you, it's the sense of just like speak, having yourself be seen, you know, just speaking, all right? Some of you guys just want to have like some type of speaking role, singing, writing, you know, you just want to have your voice be heard here, all right? Start chasing after this full energy, darling, all right? Well, I know many of you guys are probably looking at this and you're like, Valka, darling, I do not want to consume anything about that. I do not want, I don't want to chase after looking like the fool in this deck, right? But you truly want to, all right? The fool energy is like starting embarking on a new journey all right so that's really the messages that i have for the collective today hopefully that gave you some resonance but let's get started into our zodiac sign so be sure to check out the timestamps below darling howdy 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 my beautiful tauruses how are you doing today let's get into your daily tarot messages here and see what's going to be going on for you be sure to check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign and then as well i always upload your longer version of your weekly tarot taurus so be sure to check that out each week all right so what's going to be going on for you today taurus all right four pentacles in the back of the deck here all right i feel like you are evaluating where it is that you're investing your pentacles into all right so where your time and energy is into i feel as if for many of you tauruses you're on the path towards um getting to a place of more emotional stability here i feel like you guys are at this place currently with this eight of swords and five of wands it's almost as if like there's been some type of obstacle or conflict for many of you here taurus it's like you're having to reevaluate who it is that you invest your time and energy into for many of you guys Taurus it's like the sense of like who you invest your time and energy into it's like it was such an emotional tax for you and it, like this sense of like I don't know it's hard for me to really give the specific message for this Taurus because it's really hard for me to relate to this but I feel like there's just someone that's really controlling in your life right now um whether they mean to do it or not whether it's like the drama they bring the problems you know maybe you always feel like you have to fix some problems for them or something like that I don't know this there's just like this sense here Taurus where it's like I feel like you guys are just need the sense of needing to free yourself from this. All right. Reevaluating who it is that you've invested your time and energy into. All right. And maybe it's time to go back to the drawing boards. Right. I think when you go like when you're putting into stocks and stuff. Right. Sometimes you go you have a meeting with like your financial advisor, Taurus, and you're just like, all right, like we need to talk about the business. Right. We need to talk about where we've been investing and if we need to change anything up. All right. And I feel like that's what needs to happen for you, Taurus, is like someone y'all need to maybe like speak about like update your boundaries perhaps taurus maybe you need to update someone on like what's going on in your personal life here because i feel like that's what's going on here it's just like because people are not fully understanding how you're feeling and like what you're fully going through taurus whether that's like through your choice or not maybe you just don't want people in your business darling and there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like it's really necessary to clue like for the people that you care about it's important to clue them in of what's going on with you all right because i feel like for some of you tauruses these people are not trying to bring forth making uh, they're not trying to make your life more complicated all right for some of you tauruses it might be the case all right but that's really what that message is about taurus is just like looking at like where who and where it is that you're investing your energy into all right you need time to just reallocate where your resources are going your time and your energy because you need it's time for you taurus really to get into this king of cups this emotional stability like i feel as if like your life needs to be more simple and people are not making that job easy for you of trying to keep that life simple for you darling all right so uh take that as you will let's get into your oracle card 
uh Taurus before we close out to your tarot reading here today all right it's Monday right now obviously as I'm uh doing this so Taurus I'm gonna just let y'all know after this uh reading here today I'm gonna be uploading y'all's video all right so we'll definitely I suspect be tapping deeper into that later all right so your uh oracle card uh today here Taurus is the awakening genius all right um, okay hold up Taurus I need to hold this back because I feel like I'm about to gas y'all up here honey all right awakening genius here i feel like that's what's happening i feel like for you taurus like you're coming into a deeper awareness about your situation all right i don't know why but i feel like you have gotten this sense of self-awareness uh woken up to like starting to realize different toxic patterns in your life whether that's through family traumas generational traumas you know i don't know i just feel like you're waking up to the patterns like you're starting to see the matrix right if you subscribe to that type of concept i feel like you are seeing like what goes on beneath the, uh through the veil beneath the veil whatever this saying goes taurus all right so i wouldn't be surprised at this time as you go you know as anyone goes through any type of awake awakening you know the only things you have to watch out for really Taurus is making sure you don't go into like a spiritual psychosis making sure that you don't associate everything with some type of spiritual message darling right um, and make sure that you understand Taurus that when you go through that awakening process just because you are going through that awakening doesn't mean everyone else around you is all right so don't get caught into the cycle of where it's like either you start thinking you're crazy because no one else is seeing and understanding things that you are and also understand that while you are going through the awakening process you can't wake up other people uh, until they're ready all right so just make your journey very solo right now um i feel like this is really a journey right now for you tourists of where you're just getting really comfortable with this new version of yourself so really happy for you darling but um yeah check out later today on my channel Taurus, for your longer version of your weekly tarot reading and i'll connect with you a little po later point in time darling love you so much Taurus. howdy 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 my beautiful virgos how are you doing today darling all right we're gonna get into your daily tarot messages here today but also just know after this video virgo i'm gonna be recording y'all's uh your earth signs uh y'all earth signs rather a uh, long form version of your tarot reading today so be sure to check it out later today all right but let's see what's going on for you guys right now today what message do my virgos need to hear all right so we have here the ten of pentacles closures of cycles with those tens here all right i feel like things are going to start finally start stabilizing for you here uh virgo i see the sense of your path is starting to really ramp up for many of you guys for like a job offer if you guys have been job hunting uh virgo all right so that's where the momentum of energy i see is really going or just the sense of stabilizing i feel like for some of you virgos you might get a lot done on your to-do list today perhaps a lot done on your to-do list today or for some of you guys i don't know why i'm seeing like a car um or like so i'm associating this with like mechanical issues because now i'm being shown pipes i know cars have pipes i think darling but anyways honey right these listen these hands do these hands look like they touch any type of car or engine honey <laughs> don't answer that do not answer that with these hairy hands anyways virgo you might be doing some home improvements today all right and for those that are not doing home improvements i will just say to virgo because i do get this feeling that if there isn't something that you're fixing in the house be paying attention to something that's going on in the house right now i feel like something might start acting up if that is the case that you need to fix or be aware about all right i don't think it's anything major though so don't be freaking out i would tell you honestly <laughs> virgo all right, Emperor card. Yeah, really leaning into the sense of responsibility. All right, Virgo, I feel like at this time, that's what you guys need to be ready for. I feel like currently today, it's time for you to take more responsibility for like getting your uh, home life more organized. All right, I feel like you guys need to set up your environment right now to treat yourself as the emperor. You know, let's just be, <laughs> I'm about to come after you, Virgo. All right, buckle up, darling. All right, and my moon is in Virgo, so I'm being honest with myself here as well. <laughs> But Virgo, if if you were to have company come into your house right now, would you be okay with it? If if you had the emperor of whatever country you're in, or just like the emperor of girl, let's just not. If you have someone of high authority coming into your home, do would you be okay with it? All right. So let's so keep that energy with it today. I feel like today's more so about your productivity today, Virgo, will be about setting up your environment for success, I feel. 
Three of Cups coming in here, and then I wanted to talk about the Three of Pentacles here as well, all right, in the back of the deck for you, all right? Really solid in regards to your friendships here. You might be receiving good, some good, like a friend might be receiving some really solid good news in regards to their, their work life here. Uh, Virgo, so a time of celebration, check in with your friends today. There does seem to be some type of relevant message uh, associated with it. For others of you, Virgos, this is like a direct message that y'all need to start being willing to open up to your friends more or just your close people more all right i feel like you need you some of you virgos are in the sense of just obsessing over being seen as an emperor or just presenting it as if your life is just so put together virgo that you don't ever ask other people for help because you don't want to show weakness and i feel like spirits kind of just like calling you out darling and just be like virgo ask for help you have some good people around you that want to help you out darling ask for help make your life simpler you know put your pride to the side darling all right Let's get into your oracle card today, Virgo, before we close, close out to your reading. All right. <clears throat> All right. So you guys have great and full. Great and full here. Number four in numerology. So look up the number four to see what messages is associated with that for you, Virgo. And then great and full. So grateful here. Your cup runneth over here. I feel like this is just a reminder, uh, Virgo, of just giving yourself grace, treating yourself kinder today here, and just being grateful for what it is that you can do today. All right. I feel like you guys need to be a little bit more present in the moment right now, Virgo, and appreciate what it is that you have going on for yourself i feel like you know there's always like that corniness where people i feel like there's like people in the spiritual community always push the sense of being like you always need to exude gratitude right and nothing's wrong with gratitude but sometimes you just don't want <laughs> it's it's a lot harder to do than what people say right so i feel like today you just need to be great uh um be grateful for the fact of just like who you are the fact that you're up and breathing today all right to be simple for be grateful for more of the simple things today uh virgo and don't because i feel like some of you guys set up the sense of where you won't celebrate yourself unless you do big things right accomplish big things or big goals and i feel like you guys need to celebrate the micro uh the micro uh successes rather than only focusing on the macro uh celebrate the micro steps as well that you're taking for your life because you guys are still progressing forward virgo you just don't want to give yourself the credit where credits do darling okay so that's the weekly uh daily tarot reading that i have for you check out your weekly tarot reading later on today virgo love you so much darling howdy 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 my beautiful capricorn let's get into your daily tarot reading today see what's going to be happening for you and it's monday as i'm recording this here capricorn so check out my channel later today for your long form uh weekly tarot reading that i'm going to be uploading for y'all all right so let's get uh going in here uh capricorn see what's happening for you guys first and foremost we have this five of pentacles in the back of the deck for you capricorn all right uh darling i don't like to see this energy for you here all right i'm going to be honest i feel like this this is a sign for you guys to be walking away from whatever is making you feel bad some of you Vir uh why am i wanting to say virgo some of you capricorns here it's like uh where it is that you're putting your time maybe it's like your job that makes you just feel really down about yourself and just insecure i really feel like you need to start taking steps in figuring out like what you can be doing next this is not me saying quit your job right now capricorn let's be rational about this right never quit it like life lesson that i've learned for myself as well as that's something that's been instilled with me from my mother honey never quit a job darling until you have a backup plan all right never just quit a job because the emotions are running high for you right page of wands here because that's what i see happening for you capricorn it's just like i see emotions just running high i see being overwhelmed i see the sense of being like <laughs> i'm not gonna say the actual word that came to mind actually no i'm well, darling i know for a fact that everyone i know my analytics everyone that watches me for the most part's an adult like <laughs> but it's just like for you capricorn i just heard it in like this real like strong like jersey or like brooklyn accent it just you know i, ain't gonna, I don't do accents darling but it's just like why are you fucking with me why is anyone fucking with me all right that's what I, <laughs> that's what i heard here and so i feel like for you capricorn this is really a sign of where it's just like you feel like your hand is being pushed to a wave where you're having to walk away from certain connections or just certain situations that you have a long-standing history with right with the six of cups here this is a card of like dealings with energy from the past or just again you have that long-standing history with if you know because past makes it sound as if it's only past tense and it's only irrelevant but no um seven of swords here with this five of pentacles i'm gonna be honest capricorn i feel like you're some of y'all just need to hear this message or where it's just 
like something is just not good for you all right some of you maybe some of you capricorns haven't wanted to admit that reality because of i mean just whatever your business is darling right why you don't want to admit it you you know that's your choice but maybe for some of you guys right this makes me think about capricorn you know like i didn't you know <laughs> when i was in a cult darling capricorn all right when i was in a cult back over a year ago darling right you don't realize you're in a cult until like there's a moment that happens right people were saying i was in a cult and I, you know whatever whatever i didn't believe it i didn't understand it until like it got really bad and then i was like oh i'm in a cult right and i feel like that's what's happening for you capricorn is this sense of where it's like your buttons were pushed and pushed and pushed maybe you're in denial about this denial about this situation maybe you're just like gave someone like 50 different chances or a job 50 different chances but page of wands energy page brings in new energy time for a change darling capricorn let's move on from this this isn't good for you all right so that's what i got for you on that capricorn let's get into your oracle mess card for today as well see what uh insights these oracle cards have for you darling all right <clears throat> all right broken open number 28 equaling to one in numerology so look up the number one capricorn uh to see what messages that brings i know that's associated with the magician actually uh broken open here for you all right i feel like this is the feather that broke the camel's back for you today your hand has been pushed capricorn and this is the time to no longer fight it darling all right you poke the bear enough times darling you're eventually gonna wake up the bear like what do you expect here all right this is the time for you capricorn where it's like instead of shaming yourself for reacting the way that you are lean into it a little bit more obviously from a more mature rational place of course capricorn i don't feel like i need to tell you that but acknowledge that don't put shame against what it is that you how you're reacting because you're fully justified is what i want to say all right capricorn so that's the daily tarot reading that i have for you be sure to check out my channel later on today capricorn for your long form version of your this reading all right love you so much darling bye capricorn howdy 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 my beautiful aries how are you doing darling so let's get into your daily tarot reading today see what's going to be going on for you now aries i upload your long form weekly tarot reading every single tuesday so be sure to check it out my channel out on tuesday to see uh your long form uh reading all right so let's get into this today here for you aries what's happening for y'all all right ten of swords starting out this energy here i like this you know I, I know a lot of people aries don't like the ten of swords for many reasons and some valid but like personally to me and maybe it's just because i'm an optimist but i see the ten of swords as like tens representing closures to cycles it like lets you know it's just like yeah darling like you've been going through it aries all right a lot of pain a lot of disappointment a lot of hurdles you've been having to go through but these swords are already in your back aries honey all right me pulling this card doesn't ma ma magically mean you're gonna have all like this has happened for a long time <laughs> you know you've been through the battles here aries right so that's why i say it's like this ten of swords really in my opinion doesn't symbolize a sense of more pain as dramatic especially as the card can present itself as as well it's just like come on and it's just like you only have 10 swords in your back why are you laying down <laughs> <laughs> i'm playing i'm playing obviously but like i feel like this is the beginning of a um less painful period for you aries all right so maybe you're coming into this monday this new you know it's oh my gosh aries it's august now my gosh um coming into august feeling re re rejuvenated new i feel like you guys are going to be approaching this month in a different way something's different about you aries all right you guys are beginning something here all right four of cups coming in here all right this is the time aries i feel like you guys haven't given something enough thought something enough energy considered something all right that's what keeps okay that's what <laughs> that's what keeps popping up in my head here aries where it's just like considerating uh considerating can i speak okay i can't speak properly whenever i'm like receiving a channeled message it's like consideration all right that's what keeps on popping in my mind it's like your spiritual team right now aries wants you to consider something more don't just dismiss something initially all right <clears throat> and then the ace of pentacles because it would be really profitable for you uh aries all right take this time to really consider something more all right i want to point out the synchronicity with these two cards here uh aries so tap over on the screen and open up the screen real quick darling so you can see this all right aries so the four of cups i love the four i can do a whole 20 minute video on the four of cups on its own right all right so i'll avoid it doing too much with it but the four of cups represents this person having their arms crossed eyes closed represents 
something that the person's closed off that being you darling all right due to your current environment to your current situation those three cups being empty right and you're just like man like you know it's just the sense of being really just like frustrated all right and then you see this cloud where it's handing you a cup a filled cup at least i see it as a filled cup anyways and this cloud just represents spirit offering this cup to you what do cops cups represent aries cups represent people and opportunities and emotions right and so it's like the sense of like because you're just frustrated with your current environment you're not seeing what spirit's trying to offer to you that would actually be extremely profitable that's why you see the clouds again with the hand like spirit's really trying to hand you over something all right that perhaps for some of you guys helps put the end of that painful chapter for you all right aries back of the deck energy for you was the empress coming in here all right aries you guys need to celebrate yourself more in the sense of how we people perceive you which is the empress the empress is able to um whatever it is that she desires she's able to, she trusts in the universe to provide to her what it is that she does personally desire the empress is in a very attractive person she represents fertility right giving birth to something right you are doubting your capabilities aries all right you're doubting your capabilities and you need to stop it <laughs> all right let's get into your oracle card today here aries and very fitting for you naturally even though you're not a leo all right but your neighbor is all right you have the awaking waking the lion coming in for you aries all right to number 19 equaling to one in numerology so write that number down um and see what message that ha is associated with that for you all right waking the lion here i feel like that's what's really happening for you just to be a little bit corny here Aries is that you're finally just waking up to your true self here you're coming into August you're just like I am Aries hear me roar even though I know Aries don't roar I think you're aren't y'all like goats or something like that anyways <laughs> I love you so much Aries and hopefully this da daily tarot message resonated with you be sure to check me out on Tuesdays for your long form readings all right bye Aries howdy 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 my beautiful Leo how are you doing and happy birthday my Leos all right so let's get into your daily tarot messages here today Leo I also upload your weekly uh, long form tarot readings Leo every single Tuesday so be sure to check out my channel for those as well but let's see what's happening for you what's popping all right we got the eight of swords we got that seven of cups we got that seven of swords oh my goodness <laughs> what's going on with you leo honey all right let's see this here leo i'm gonna be honest here i feel like for you don't be so feeling so defeated i feel like i'm tapping into a leo where it's just like you're saying it's like oh what's the point right maybe i feel like for many of you leos you're consuming this video right now and this is no shade to you darling but i'm just kind of having to be confrontational i feel like you're really taking in this video either just to distract yourself from your life's problems or you're in bed still or like you're just wasting like biting it's not a waste of time consuming my videos first and foremost but it's just this sense i don't know leo i feel like this gives me a message where it's just like you're feeling defeated about something or frustrated about a situation here it's like some frustrating news makes it so like you're just like oh what's the point and then you sink on the couch and you're just like start you know on the remote or on your phone and just like um you know you know just like distracting yourself or whatever and what i want to be telling you right now leo is the seven of cups doesn't come in uh without reasoning here especially because it's paired with this uh eight of swords here all right eight of swords is self you know by definition is the card of um uh, the illusion of being trapped right it's the sense of where it says like the individual themselves tells themselves that they're trapped but they're actually not all right considering other options here all right don't feel so defeated about your current situation leo much easier said than done i acknowledge that leo all right you know I you I give you permission this one time, Leo, to roll your eyes at me. All right, I ain't gonna shade you, honey. Okay, don't don't get too crazy now. But um, <laughs> this is really just spirit saying, just like darling, there's another way around this. You don't have to. It's like you don't have to do it the way that you think that you have to do it. That you're not happy of having to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna say that again, Leo. You don't feel so frustrated with feeling like you have to do something in a specific way that you don't want to do it. All right. I don't know. I feel like there's other options. Consider other options. There's other. You, you don't have like it doesn't have to be this way. I guess is the main message here for you, Leo. Very straight up though. All right. Let's get into your oracle card today. See what y'all need to hear, Leo. <clears throat> spirit of gratitude all right lee i'm gonna allow you to give another eye roll because i just eye rolled here as well for you 
<laughs> spirit of gratitude number 43 equaling to seven in numerology leo all right so look up that number at a later point in time see how that resonates with you spirit of gratitude i mean this is literally the message of just learning how to be grateful for what it is that you do have here leo again really corny message here but i guess like corny messages is what your spiritual team wants you to hear at this time of where it's just like it could be worse even though i feel like that's a very dismissive thing to have like just understand leo on a personal level i completely get it right that i am just nothing but a messenger darling so i can't project my own personal feelings on here but when you read in between the lines of spirit right they're not just going to say that corny message is like oh you should just always be grateful darling whatever there is you know there's like spirit wouldn't tell you to consider other options if there wasn't a better option and spirit wouldn't tell you to his be like hey be grateful darling if there wasn't something worthy of being grateful about in the coming days all right so read in between the lines i can you, you could really see this as a foreshadowing of like some good solid stuff happening for you in the coming days all right leo so that's the message that i have for you today darling leos hopefully this resonated with you if i didn't make you eye roll too much darling check out my readings on uh tuesday all right for your long form readings and i'll connect you a little point in time leo all right bye darling and happy birthday howdy 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 my beautiful sagittarius let's get into your daily tarot reading here today see what y'all need to hear all right saggy and also remember every single tuesday i upload my fire sign so that means your sign as well as sagittarius every single tuesday so be sure to check out your long form tarot reading uh for that as well all right so let's see what's going on for you sagittarius crossroads presenting itself here all right do you choose a new path or do you choose continuing doing what it is that you always have been doing here all right so there's Sagittarius, I feel like an opportunity is coming forward towards you to change things up. All right. In a job dynamic, you might be having the opportunity to like do a different career or, you know, a promotion or something like that here. Whatever news comes forward, it's not just like a surface level where it's just like, oh, here's just like 20 bucks, right? With nothing changing, right? I feel like it's changes, like change is inevitable with this news that comes in. All right. It's the sense of like, if you want to claim this energy, you have to also claim that things are going to be moving for you. But it seems to be really solid here for you, Sagittarius. All right. This Eight of Pentacles is by definition, the Eight of Pentacles represents going back to school and furthering your knowledge to go up in the ranks, Sagittarius. All right. Now, obviously, not everyone is trying to go to school and school isn't everything. So you think about this in a more literal sense of just like this new path for you that's going to be opening up with that Two of Swords seemingly would be like going up in the ranks especially for those that are working uh sagittarius i feel like there's an opportunity to have further career advancement here all right now five of cups coming in here as well this is like girl <laughs> as i was saying sagittarius with this five of cups coming in here this is a message of where it's just like you need to change your point of view here i feel like with this opportunity that comes in that you would have to make certain changes in your life to be able to allow this to happen but it would still be really solid for you sagittarius if you allowed it to come forward in your life here i feel as if there's like this sense of like defeated attitude that you have associated with it maybe you have an imposter syndrome and you feel as if like you couldn't handle it or something like that there or maybe like you feel like the risk is too much sagittarius but you have the set um you have the sagittarius you have the cherry energy sagittarius in the back of the deck here and i know this is cancerian energy sagittarius but i personally associate the cherry energy with your energy personally all right and so this is really a dark message where it's just like if you were to take this new path i feel like you'd be really pleasantly surprised sagittarius by like how quickly things would progress for you all right so that's what i got for you on that sagittarius let's get into your oracle messages here today before i leave you to it all right all right endless possibilities number 38 equaling to 11 in numerology all right darling master number be sure to look up that number after this video sagittarius so you can take a look at um what messages that brings for you endless possibilities right but you, know, you associate 11 11 wishes endless possibilities there for you sagittarius be more open to what could you accomplish all right don't allow your imposter syndrome or the lip self-limiting beliefs that you might be having right now or just because you tell yourself like maybe it's like your current environment makes you think that you couldn't do anything different or what have you all right like be more open all right this is literally the sense of where it's just like 
you could have everything here literally it's like the sense for you Sagittarius like this new path that seems to be open up it just seems like I'm not seeing any negative here all the messages that are coming in with this Sagittarius are just saying she's like darling this would be really fabulous for you like this would be like you know wish you know this is a wish being granted for you this is it's like a message being like it is possible Sagittarius all right so lean into it but that's the message that I got for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully it helps you out. Be sure and I'll hopefully see you on Tuesday, darling. All right, for your long form reading. Bye, Saggy. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Libra. Let's get into your daily tarot messages. All right. See what y'all need to hear today. What guidance you need to hear. And remember, Libra, every single Wednesday I upload your weekly tarot reading, your long form reading. So be sure to check those out as well. First card coming in here for you is the Six of Pentacles. This is like your mini, this is like a mini you, Libra. All right. Because you'll notice the scales that are associated with this here. Things starting to balance out for you. I feel like the actions that happen to you and what you do today, Libra, balance, balance brings forth balance here. For many of you, Libras, maybe you're finally waking up and realizing what you needed to do differently or what you needed to do more of to have to gain better results with whatever whatever it is that you're working on all right ace of wands coming in here as well all right very passionate people are feeling very passionate towards you at this time uh libra today is a really fabulous day for you to go out all right if you know go to the grocery store darling all right and you'll be noticing like how many people are trying to do favors for you libra all right but also in a more internal way this ace of wands represents following forth with the passion and that brings further balance for you here and hanged man coming in as well and i'm noticing and i'll pull the card in a moment here libra but it's the ju judgment card in the back of the deck here as well all right i feel like y'all are doing some big moves all right libra y'all it's like y'all made a bit major life decision for yourself maybe some of you guys decided to like i don't know why i'm hearing like veganism or vegetarianism all right but i feel like it's in that type of narrative where it's just like something that you guys decided to change it's like you decided to change your life to, or whatever in a, a more appropriate way so you could further pursue what it is that you're passionate about all right and so, for example, Libra, maybe you have this desire in, uh, let's just say you have this desire in leaving the country. You want to like move to a different country. You, I feel like you guys are finally starting to take action, like physical actions and preparing yourself to actually do that rather than just say it, right? You're instead of just speaking about what it is that you want, I feel like you're finally treating it to Libra today as like being like, you know what? It's time for me to start taking action. All right. And I feel like this is really solid for you, Libra, even afterwards. Extra card because I'm complete bias. I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp, honey. So I'm always going to spoil my Libras, darling. Don't tell nobody. So I'm going to give you an extra one. But Ace of Swords here. All right. It's two Aces here. Aces as a tarot reader represents like just a yes, um, like a green, like a green light just going forward. All right. Um, taking further action towards your thoughts and your passions here. And you can't lose when you have the Ace of Swords on your side, Libra. All right. So that's what I got on that for you, darling. That's that on that on that. And let's get into your Oracle card today, Libra. See what's coming out for y'all. <clears throat> Sacred reverence. Sacred reverence here for you. And then number 47, equaling to number 11 in numerology, uh, Libra. So be sure to look up the number 11 at a later point in time. All right. See what messages that has for you. All right. Sacred reverence for you here, Libra. What I want to be saying, and I feel like this is more so long-term message here, all right? I feel like, and I know this is daily reading, but this is coming in as just, I got to let the channeled message come in, honey. All right, Libra, your path is always going to be aligned with the right people at the right time for you, Libra, all right? You're, you're never alone. If you were to look at your life up until this point in time, you will notice that there was always somebody in your life that came in either at the perfect timing or was part of your life for the perfect timing in that moment. They may not be part of your life right now but during that time they served a very specific purpose for you libra all right and that's how your life is going to be going for the rest of your days all right that's how spirit works with you that's how spirit connects with you is making sure that you are not alone on this journey at all all right so even if you are feeling completely isolated five of pentacles right now or even if you're like you're feeling like you're hitting your rock bottom or healing uh down in the barrel darling all right look around pay attention all right spirit is always going to be sending their help to you through other people all right so take that as you will my beautiful libras all right so that's the message that i got for you today remember i upload your 
long form readings every single wednesday libra so be sure to check those out on my channel later on and i'll connect with you later on libra all right bye darling all righty howdy 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 my beautiful gemini let's get into your daily tarot reading today see what messages y'all need to hear and remember gemini every single wednesday i upload all the air signs long form uh tarot reading so that's libra uh libra gemini aquarius so hopefully ch you check those out as well if you enjoy this daily tarot message first card coming in for you aquarius why am i saying aquarius gemini first card coming out for you gemini is the ten of swords here all right ten of swords here six of cups okay and then the ace of cups coming in here for you all right and i just feel called to pull out this card as well <clears throat> so for you right now gemini some solid stuff here I feel like you're closing the door on things, but you're also opening up many other doors. All right. It's the sense for you, uh, Gemini, is like your social life, your personal life may be a mess. All right. You, I feel as if for many of you guys, you've had to like, like this past weekend, you had to like tell some somebody off or maybe Gemini, some of you guys just like, I don't know. I feel as if socially for you, there's like some situation that it just isn't the best. It could be better. All right. But it's just like, while that end is kind of suffering i see for you gemini in regards to personal endeavors in regards to your finances and your career darling gemini that's where it's opening up opportunities are going to be happening for you gemini either because let me explain this all right the ace of cups represents opportunity coming in for you because cups can represent opportunity or people but by definition new opportunities come in nine of pentacles this is the best card for any entrepreneur all right nine of pentacles represents being able to be independent um not having to rely on anybody else and just financial abundance here all right so I feel like for you, uh, Gemini, was like, while there's one aspect of your life that's suffering, there's this other ha part of yourself where things are going to be really looking solid for you. It's almost as if you're going to be having like some an, emo uh, an emotional whiplash, Gemini, because it's just like you're just going to feel all the range of emotions here. All right. And so main message here that i want to be saying uh gemini it feels as if you are welcoming in a lot of new energy in the coming days here so don't be afraid of closing off chapters of your life that have extended for such a long time all right gemini i feel like for many of you guys you just there's certain people certain things that have just been part of your life for such a long journey that you it's become very sentimental to you but just because it's sentimental to you doesn't mean it's good for you anymore all right so i feel like you guys are just kind of outgrowing things uh gemini all right you're doing some spring cleaning while also receiving good things right so what happens right when you get like new furniture gemini you have to get out to get rid of the old furniture and sure you've had that old furniture for 10 years but what's the purpose in having new furniture if you're gonna buying new furniture if you're just gonna keep the old furniture as well all right so let's get into your oracle card today here uh gemini all right, darling, number 21 equaling to three in numerology, Gemini, so sure, be sure to look that up at a later point in time, see what messages that has, all right? Exposed and revealed, darling, exposed and revealed. I feel like today is really just gonna be a day for you, Gemini, where a spotlight is gonna be put on the things that are just no longer serving you, all right? I feel like you no longer can wear the rose-colored glasses anymore uh, with certain people in your life, certain situations in your life here, all right? You, it's like like for you here gemini you're seeing through things now all right and while you see through things it's like it sends for you gemini it's like it serves you no purpose in seeing the red flags if you're not going to do anything about the red flags all right that's where like the main message here it's just like you're starting to see the red flags what are you going to do about it you know there's that popular maya angelo maya angelou quote that i want to say right now for you darling all right um it, where it's just like when people show you who they are the first time believe them all right so that's what i got on that for you gemini and hopefully this tarot reading resonates with you remember darling every single wednesday i upload your long form reading and i'll connect with you later on all right gemini bye darling howdy 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 my beautiful aquarius how are you doing let's get into your daily tarot reading here see what messages we have for you today aquarius all right remember every single wednesday you upload your long form reading aquarius all right so be sure to check that out 
but let's see what's going on for you today aquarius what messages do my aquarians need to hear all right nine of wands coming in here the wounded warrior keep your head above water right now aquarius all right you're about to be having a breakthrough here things are about to be uh, the word that i just heard here is reprieve reprieve is going to be happening for you help is on the way things are going to start lightening up for you queen of wands all right i'm speaking to my aquarians right now that are close to like giving up on something that they took a risk on especially to my creatives let's for, say for example you opened up a business and the business hasn't been looking too good maybe i haven't been making too many sales keep on pushing through at this time aquarius because you're about to be making a solid breakthrough all right and this type of dynamic here this is literally a sense of where it's like yeah today you may have you haven't made any sales in the past week or two but tomorrow could be the day where you make five thousand. all right just as like a dramatic example here but i can say that because back of the deck energy aquarius is the ten of pentacles which is financial abundance here all right for many of you guys aquarius you might be feeling like you're drowning because of like all the like uh, news that keeps on coming your way or perhaps just like bills and what have you all right but new energy is definitely coming in here all right so ten of cups when i split the deck here you have the ten of cups and then the page of wands here tens representing closures to cycles all right and pages brings in news pages brings in um new energy for you so things are going to be really changing drastically changing in your life here aquarius all right um and i don't when i want to express this aquarius i don't want you to take this as being like as a way where it's just like oh yeah i'm gonna win the lottery tomorrow and that's not what i mean by this aquarius what i mean by where your energy is going currently is that while i see it's been really taxing for you to wake up every day and just like do what you need to do for your passions right you know maybe it's just like it's just been hard it's hard to justify making the time for it here but i just see momentum building up for you i see new energy coming in here for you i see accomplishments it's one of those times aquarius where it's just like you have to think about the big picture you have to think about the end goal all right sometimes it's hard to be hopeful about the end goal because you don't know for a fact it's going to work out but i mean spoiler alert darling if you subscribe to at least the stare message here i see that it's working out there's no card not a single card in here that you could read it as anything but positivity right you get that abundance you get that fulfillment you got both of the positive tens really aquarius y'all's y'all's ending up being the longest reading here <laughs> as well aquarius all right like it's gonna work out for you it truly is here so keep your head above water keep doing the work that you need to do every single day all right and is you'll see the results even if you don't see the results currently all right aquarius and it's come on darling all right the collective message is associated with you here right you are the star right <laughs> so this is the, if anything this is your time aquarius to be uh sopping in the abundance honey sopping in all this energy all right remember who you are aquarius remember who you are let's get into your oracle card so i can get off the soap box here <laughs> roses kiss here number nine in numerologies girl <laughs> Aquarius number nine in numerology so be sure to look it up see what number that uh message that has for you for the number nine roses kiss here you know i actually for you aquarius i feel like this is like a very spiritual message for each of you and it's going to be very specific for each of y'all all right you look at this card i feel like one for one roses are very specific to certain individuals maybe you uh use roses as an offering right i also get motherly when i see roses i don't know why i know some people see associate roses as like something like romantic or something like that all right this isn't no game of thrones stuff honey but i do see roses as just like a matronly energy all right and then you see this ladybug here ladybugs have strong spiritual significance all right maybe that's me just personally projecting because i see strong spiritual significance with ladybugs that's always been a common theme in my life since a little kid when i was a little kid just as a side note aquarius because y'all didn't ask but like i used to live in delaware for a short time and i was like not more than like four or five years old it was one of my very first memories actually is seeing like a windowsill with just like a bunch of dead ladybugs <laughs> like i don't know why a bunch of ladybugs would always swarm the windowsill but anyways i just wanted to share that but um yeah i feel like this is more so like omens paying attention to signs at this time um aquarius i feel like there's going to be something that pops out today for you 
that has strong spiritual significance that normally you might be like uh okay maybe by chance right so for example people always will say it's just like oh velka i associate crows or pigeons honey right with a spiritual message and it's just like well uh, you might obviously just have that because you live right next to a bunch of trees or whatever right no today is gonna be it's like one of those times aquarius where it's like today for you it's, it's not a it's not a coincidence that's really what the message is for you uh today aquarius where it's like it's not a coincidence <laughs> So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. Sorry that I ran my mouth a little bit, darling, but you know, I guess I just really wanted to connect to Aquarians today, but I love you so much. Be sure to check me out every single Wednesday, Aquarius, for your long form reading where I'm not running my mouth about myself so much, but um, I love you so much, Aquarius. Bye, darling. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. Let's get into your daily tarot reading. See what tarot messages y'all need to hear at this time. And remember, Scorpio, every single Thursday, I upload my water signs. So be sure to check out your uh, long form tarot reading on Thursday, darling. All right. But High Priestess is the first card that came out. Uh, really, that flipped out, darling. All right. High Priestess energy. This is a card of where your intuition is spot on. All right. You have a connection to the spiritual world as well. I feel like you're going to be receiving some spiritual downloads today scorpio all right be paying attention to what inspiration comes to you today pay attention to what words you're thinking about today here because spiritual is really linked up to you today trying to guide you all right eyes as well for some of you scorpios you're again like your intuition is right maybe you're suspicious suspicious about a situation or maybe for many of you uh, Scorpios, you have like this idea that you want to take further action on, um, but you haven't yet, um, or just whatever it is. It's just like trust your instincts, really. When I see that high priestess energy, that's when I know just to tell the individual Scorpios, like, trust your instincts, you're good. You even have the temperance energy coming in here, all right. I feel like some something's gonna show its true colors in the coming days, Scorpio. I get like this sense of where it's just like you see through something but it's not just because you see through something doesn't mean you have to be the one to point it out is what comes to mind just because you see something um scorpio doesn't mean you have to point it out it's the only thing i'm thinking about and then the ten of wands here all right closures to cycles five of swords in the back of the deck here for you all right so here's the thing uh scorpio I don't like this energy in the sense of what it is that you're having to deal with. And all I'm, this reading is going to be bringing to you, Scorpio, is just like, you're not crazy. You're not being overly sensitive. You're not overreading the situation. You are dead on about the situation. Your hunch is right. Don't take action about it right now because the true colors are going to be revealed eventually here. All right. Sooner rather than later. All right. Very morbid message, but... That's what needed to come forward, I suppose. Let's get into your Oracle card today, uh, Scorpio. All right. Number 13, equaling to four in numerology. Look that number up later on. See what messages that has. Feeling the world. All right. Again, for you, Scorpio, you're really just in tune with this, like just in tune with the world right now around you. All right. Trust your instincts. It's the sense for you, Scorpio. If you were to book a reading with me, Scorpio, about a situation, all I feel like I would get for you, Scorpio, is just telling you that continue doing what it is that you're doing. All right. Like, I don't feel like you need me right now. All right. I don't feel like anyone needs me point blank period. All right. But I don't feel like you need guidance right now. You might need someone to let you, you know, to give you the affirmation that you're making the right steps, but you are making the right steps. You don't need guidance right now, Scorpio. All right. But bide your time currently when it comes to like a truth about a situation, it will come out. All right. But um, love you so much, Scorpio. Connect with me on Thursday for your long to form reading. And I love you so much, darling. Bye. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. Let's get into your daily tarot reading today. See what is happening, what's good, what's popping with y'all. All right. In Cancer, I upload my water signs every single Thursday for the long form of reading. So that means your zodiac sign is on Thursdays for the like 15 minute readings that I do. So check those out as well. Page of Cups coming in for you, Cancer. This is new energy coming in here. Pages talks about bringing in good news. Page of Cups talks about new opportunities coming in or new people coming into your life here. Uh, 
uh, Cancer. While I do acknowledge that new people might be coming into your life, Cancer, I do feel like that side of the message is going to be coming in later on the week. All right, to that new energy. Or maybe it's like maybe you've been waiting to hear back from somebody, Cancer. And I feel like you're going to hear back from them later on in the week, but they want to bring that 10 of Page of Cups in now. And of course, darling, we have that Temperance energy. Yeah. <laughs> temperance is the card of Patience, Cancer. All right. Have patience at this time. Whoever the person is, they're going to come in at their appropriate time. Whatever the opportunity is, it's going to come in at the right time for you. All right. Because I feel like it's kind of, honestly, I feel like it's a two part message. I feel like it's kind of both. All right. Yeah. Three of Cups coming in after the fact here which is the card of celebration it's a card of also celebrating with friends here all right cancer y'all's is a very straightforward positive message darling where it's just like you have patience at this time you're about to be aligned with the right people in your life here that either further elevate you for your finances for your career nine of pentacles is my career card um help you have more independence but also for just the personal life here all right uh and then you even have the fool card after the fact here talking about a uh, new beginning all right so maybe a new beginning with new people all right or a new beginning with a career but for a more just like social social aspect of this and not just like career oriented uh cancer i feel like for you guys you guys are just going to be coming into some solid partnerships with people um if that is the case it's going to be someone that's really successful in their own rights very independent all right very well off for themselves i'm not saying like super rich or anything Anything like that but they're just very very independent they do well for themselves all right overall really good messages here all right just bide your time a little bit cancer is nothing's flashy happening today but the energy is gaining momentum all right i feel like for you cancer you just need that affirmation and knowing that things are working out and of course you get the card that most influences looks like the wheel of fortune cancer number 18 equaling to nine look up the number nine in numerology see what messages that has the power of purpose here for you cancer the power of purpose all right this is really a direct message for you cancer of where it's like like if it's meant to be in your life, it's going to happen in your life. All right. And I know that can initially sound like a corny message, Cancer, but it's like for my careers, it's like if there's a certain opportunity or if there's a certain career path that you're meant to take, it's going to happen. You, the path is going to be clear to be aligned with your soul's purpose, with your life's purpose. All right. So don't freak out about that, Cancer. All right. In regards to people, if these people are meant to be part of your life, it's going to happen. All right. You're, this is not something that you have to fight so hard about or stress as much as you're stressing about, Cancer. All right. It's going to happen. All right, darling. So that's the daily tarot reading that I got for you, Cancer. Be sure to check me out on Thursdays for your weekly long form reading. And I love you so much, darling. Bye, Cancer. Howdy, 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 my darling Pisces. How you doing? Let's get into your daily tarot reading, darling. See what's happening for you today. What messages you need to hear. And remember, Pisces, every Thursday is when I upload all my water signs, long form readings. So be sure to check my uh, channel out on Thursdays for your readings, Pisces. All right. If you enjoyed today's daily, let's see what's happening for you, though, Pisces. Movement. All right. Eight of Wands. This is a card of movement. Um, Maybe you feel as if some relationship in your life hasn't been going anywhere, or maybe you feel as if you haven't been able to catch up financially, or just you've been at a stalemate for a while now, Pisces. This is the, today really marks a really fabulous day. It's really perfect time timing, really, when you think about it, Pisces, because I associate this where it's just like you're coming into the first of August, the first of the month on a Monday, having a breakthrough, having movement come in for you. All right. Two of Cups, really leaning into Pisces relationships for you. The relationships that are meant to work out in your life. Maybe there's been certain relationships that are solid overall, but maybe there hasn't been communication and progression. I feel like that progression is going to be coming in. All right. And then, darling, absolutely. Ace of Cups here. All right. So, Pisces, what I want to be saying for you guys here today, devil card coming in here as well. That I Just extra card. Y'all are being spoiled today, Pisces. And then this world energy in the back of the deck here. You're about to be having some new people entering your life or um, reconnecting with certain people in your life here, Pisces. So all you need to do at this current point in time is work on this devil. What is this devil to you? For many of you, Pisces, it's going to be an internal thing. For others of you, it might be a X that you need to just block. All right. But you do have some really, really solid energy coming in here. The world card talks about 
it's the final card in the major arcana pisces so it talks about the closure of cycles to begin a new chapter of your life the new fool's journey for you and so you have a lot of new energy coming in here pisces and you just need to be prepared to receive it you need to be prepared and be at your best for it because when this new connection comes in for you pisces this new partnership comes in for you all right because it's moving quicker than i think you realize all right and when it comes to, in your path pisces it's not going to just sit there and wait for you to overcome that devil so work on that devil whatever that devil is insecurities people what have you all right pisces let's get into your daily oracle card today and wrap up this tarot reading mm -mm. healing the heart pisces number 23 equaling to five in numerology pisces all right healing the heart look up the number five in numerology see what messages that brings for you all right but healing the heart right now pisces again i get the sense for you that new connections are going to be coming in for you but you need to be working on those trust issues you need to be working on the issues that make you feel like you're not worthy of love worthy of relationships worthy of good friendships worthy of good people people who actually take care of you pisces all right start doing the personal work start doing the shadow work darling because these connections are going to be coming in to validate you but you have to be ready all right pisces so i love you so much darling hopefully you found some cards in here that resonate with you every thursday darling for your long form readings bye darling